Okay, so uh, as Mandar already stated, we have done two innovations uh, to make the uh, hip spica application and hip spica maintenance easy. And I'll share both of them through two small videos. The hip spica table, uh, this table we have designed, I've been using for last 15 years. It's made up of actually two parts. One is a metallic base and an acrylic sheet. The metallic base uh, is a rectangular piece of bone uh, of uh, this uh, table, which has one distal and two proximal pillars. The height of the pillar is six inches or 15 centimeter, and they carry a uh, uh, what do you say a knob on each of them, so that the acrylic sheet can be placed over it. The details of the width and the size of the bar and the, uh, the sheet uh, is there in the paper. The acrylic sheet uh, is a trapezoid shaped with a broad proximal and narrow distal part with holes to accommodate the metal knob so that this can be very securely fixed on the, uh, uh, on the metal board. And then this acrylic sheet should be mounted uh, on the table, on the metal part like this. The weight of the total uh, uh, thing is 1.7 kilograms. The length is 1.25 uh, feet and the width is 1 feet. The next comes the how to mount the child on it. So once the anesthesia is given, the patient is gently lifted. There are three steps, mounting of the patient's spike application and demounting. So child is gently lifted. If you have done DDH surgery, then you have to be a bit more careful. The child should be mounted on this. If the truncal length of child is more, you can rest the head on the pillows and then the stock in it is applied. Now you can see the, there is six to six inches uh, distance so the plaster technician can very easily apply the plaster and roll the plaster as well as soft roll and you don't need lot of assistance one person is holding the leg in position and then you uh, finish applying the spica the proximal part is broad so it can hold the head and balance the uh, the trunk and the head end of the child very easily and the anesthetic is also comfortable and once this spica is uh, finished, we demount the child, which you will see in a moment. So for doing this, we have to gently disengage the, uh, the acrylic sheet from the metal base. And once you disengage it by pulling it uh, upwards, you have to slide it from the top end. I'm sorry this video is slow, we gave the video module in IJO, but this is how we do it. Now the we have to remove it from the top. Now the width of this acrylic sheet is 8 millimeter, and so once you take it off, there is enough space for the abdomen and the lower uh, rib cage to expand, so we don't need to put any umbilical window, or neither we want uh, need to put some gamji roll in front of this. So. This is the uh, uh, spica table we have and the range of weight of the children, uh, the highest weight was 50 kilograms and the, uh, the age is 7 years old child we have done spica. Coming to the spica stroller now, okay, the hip spica stroller. So we know that uh, the post spica application management of children is uh, very difficult and they, it can lead to skin issues. Uh, uh, dependency related challenges some children may develop respiratory infections as well and most of the it's very difficult to carry the child because they are very heavy so we have devised this hip spica stroller actually one of my patients father is an engineer and he uh, gave this idea and then we developed this uh, stroller which is very simple affordable and low profile the basic frame is formed of uh, 2.5 to 2.5 centimeter hollow stainless steel pipe. There we are seating arrange arrangement which connects the main frame at 90 degree angle. 
the seat has, is in 25 degree inclination and it is telescoping so that we can move based on the size of the child. So there are knobs which can be telescoped uh, depending on the child of the size of the child and the amount of abduction you have given. The, the back seat is concave where you can put a pillow and then we put a, a five point uh, harness in front for the safety. The casters or the wheels of the rear part is, uh, is uh, larger, uh, smaller than the front wheel that makes it a bit inclined and prevents uh, front topple. Molly, can you just wind up? We are short on time. Yeah, so this is just the last. Uh, yeah. And this is the child who was uh, three years old. We operated DDH on the next day. We give it in the hospital loaner program. So we loan this. They give some deposit. Once they come back, uh, we give, uh, they give the stroller back. And so we have four or five such strollers and uh, uh, families use it. The details of this, uh, this both things are published in Indian Journal of Orthopedics and the technical details will be, is there in the articles. Thank you.